Hi, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. I'm a textile fibre artist. I make freestyle yarns and hand painted beautiful tops. Um, in today's video, I'm going to do something different and that is making some textile art yarn. So I'm going to cut them into 10 centimeter strips. This is going to be a spinning experience. It may look really good and it may turn out to be really bad. Let's see what happens here. This is going to be Dancing Daisy. So very white and yellow with touch of green. So I'm just making these little strips. And I've got these ones too, and they've got little flowers all over them. I think it's quite beautiful. Um, I am a fan of these, these type of um, fabrics. I just uh, got them sent to me in a, a fabric roll. I've got a huge selection. And I've been meaning to use them in my art yarns for a while now. But I normally just use them in um, bows. And I'm going to leave one into a big long strip. And I'm going to try and spin that as a spun piece of fabric. Will be interesting. I might do that one and a half and have a couple of those sections. But they're beautiful. I, okay, that is the fabric prepped. I'm going to auto wrap it with a three ply four ply um, Italian silk and metallic thread so that's going to be the auto wrap and it's so luscious and so very shiny I'm going to I've already got belted strips here these are all leftovers from a leftover bag that I had in my stash for a very long time. So I've got the speed on just over halfway to start with until I get used to it. Because this is going to be a two ply I need to spin this slightly faster than halfway. Um, if you want to make a single ply, you go halfway. That way it is a much nicer drape and you don't have the over twist. So I want to tie this onto my lead. I've also um, activated the pedal so it only goes when I have my pedal my foot down on the pedal I want to try and make this pretty thick um, thicker than my normal thick and thins I want to do a couple Slugs before I start adding texture. Before I get too far into it, I need to add my auto wrap. So I hope you can see it this time. You put it straight down the center. So 
slightly bright but you put it right down the center and then you want to make sure that stays in there and wrap this around it to fasten it then put it above your finger lift your hand and make it run down to the orifice all right done an over twist here I need to get that on there you just run your hands towards you and all the over twists will come out like so now I want to add my first bit of texture so I'm going to try I'm going to try I don't know if this is going to work this is going to be interesting because I've never done this before so bear with me if it works then fantastic I don't know how you do this if it's like the first thing all right all right that will work um so you just got to fasten fasten the first bit into your I'll do that again so you can see that okay so what I did was I put the corner of the fabric in between in the center of the fiber as I went to make the slub then on the end I did the same before the slub ended make that thinner like so and then you can just continue I think this is a bit too high It's all about trial and error and trying different things and thinking outside the box. Alright, I'm going to add some colour. Just want to make it puff up a bit so I can manoeuvre it. Like so. See, so you get the corner, you put it down the center, 
and you fasten that in and then you wrap that around your yarn fiber. Now my purpose here is to have a longer fabric puffs. You can just see each of these as a puff. Now to fasten that, I need to stick it in between in the center of this fiber. So it fastens it in. Now I can go and trim this if I feel like it. Like so. I've wrapped it around the bottom a couple times um, around the knot and then I'm going to tie a knot just underneath it. The worst thing is making art yarn and then having it all fall apart on you right at the end. Right on the end. So I wrapped it around the knot and then up this and then I tied the knot on the end. So I need to take this off, wrap it around into a ball under my hand so I can finish it. big ones you may need to twist it yourself to get the bubble This is a slow part, you don't want to let it go too fast. Here's a fabric bit. You gotta do this manually, twisting it. Because the fabrics seem to be coming apart. 
just be careful with your silk because it will snap. Start your start your wheel slightly just to get the twist. And then push that up and make a little beehive. I'm only going to put beehives where the the fabric is on this one. That one went funny because it's got a, a bit of a auto wrap in the center of it. It's just a bit of texture. There's no right way or wrong way with art yarn. Some of these are tiny. Oh no, see this is sort of unraveled. I'm going to manually wrap it. Now I'm going to have to twist that one. That one just looks so weird. I'm going to try fasten the bottom. That is just a, a bad one, but it might look good in a wall hanging or something, I don't know. texture
All right, this one's unraveling because it's going to the end. I always have issues with the ends unwrapping. So you just manually do it. It'll take a little bit longer, but. got to the end I cut it there You rub the ends between your fingers, between your hands, to, to felt the end of these things so they don't unravel. This is 100 grams, so I'm going to use my big Nitty Noddy. I'm selling these in a hundred gram skeins for something different. Normally I'll make them into smaller ones. Now that you've got it skeined up, you will count the strands on one side. So I've got 11 strands and the Nitty Noddy is 1.9 meters. So you calculate times for to how many meters the actual Nitty Noddy is, which mine is 1.9 meters all up. And then you have your marriage. Look how pretty that is. <laughs> so if you like this one, it will be up on the shop next week. I'm going to be doing a big restock. So if you've been waiting, it's not going to be that much longer. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this one, please um, leave a thumbs up on this chat on this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't share it if you like um and yeah hit the notification bell if you want to see more get notified when i put put up some more videos but yeah and then you just twist the ends twist them um, and then put them together and keep twisting and make it wrap around itself. And push one end into 
through the loop to the other side and you have a really big fat skein of art yarn. 